Good day, people. Thank you for tuning in. And yeah, it's another day, another day to be working on a board. So today, kind of a big day. Um, we're gonna be doing the what's it called? This inlet manifold gasket. So we've got the top half here, and the one that actually connects to the engine. So we'll be doing that. For this, um, I would highly recommend like a quarter inch scent set sorry not scent so you have this so the reason you need these extensions etc so you can fit through these like small gaps in between here and there makes the job a whole lot easier but yeah um that's for that um currently i've already taken off the cross crossover and stuff um that's pretty simple you know just take off these clamps they're there all around and it comes off pretty easily so yeah um we'll get to going with all the bolts around it so yeah basically so basically once you've taken off the cross cross you want to get to these electrical connectors um towards the door body and then it's like a little plastic thing here and then you press that down and it just pushes out pretty simple like that and same thing for this top connector over here and now you want an allen key piece as you can kind of see and now we'll be getting to all of these bolts around here so get on the loosening setting and then yeah just crack that and what i'm going to be doing is cracking all of these basically first then i'll go around and loosening them so yeah we'll get to that So yeah, basically one bolt there, one bolt there, one bolt there, one bolt there, and there's basically just bolts all the way around and in there, if you can see them. So yeah, they just all need to be done. And yeah, I'll get back to you later because I can't really record and do it at the same time. So yeah, I kind of need two hands to do it, but yeah. So yeah, as you can see now, it's also night time. Not that it took me that long to take the bolts out, I just had to go eat dinner. But yeah, once you've taken all those bolts out, there should be just this one bolt there that connects the dipstick, and then another one over here and that vacuum line. And if you take those off, um, it seems like this whole half piece should just be able to lift up. So yeah, we'll get to that. All right, so just real quick, I also took off the throttle body off real quick because um, I was in the way, so I had to take that off. And all that really is, is just some Allen key bolts, which are right there. Um, just four of them, so pretty easy to take out. And yeah, hopefully now I should be able to get this top half removed now. Now, the this top part will lift up, but below it is as you know you have your t-map sensor and this also vacuum hose here which i've disconnected the t-map sensor over there but i just can't get this little hose out so what i'm probably gonna do instead of spending ages of to try and get it out i'm just gonna leave it there because it lifts up pretty far up and this is all you really need to do and yeah we can now have a look at this gasket which is probably in all good condition anyway so, if you have a look at it here, keep the light on it. Yeah, the gasket was perfect. So as I thought, usually this um, top, half, top half gasket, that gasket is always fine. It's always the gasket that's near this engine bay here, which is the one that's always rooted. So yeah, now we'll get cracking on with the rest of the bolts, which uh, as I've heard are a bit of a mission as you may be struggling to even see the bolts in the first place, so all of these bolts are, they are hard to get to, but yeah, I'll show you how to do most of them. So one thing that would be really handy to have is a ratchet thing 10 mil spanner. So yeah, all of these bolts are 10 mil. So yeah, if you have a 10 mil ratcheting one, it'll make it a whole lot easier and save you a lot of time. But yeah, let's get cracking with these bolts now. 
So yeah, the first two bolts on the first cylinder, pretty simple. Just use an extension, you can get on top and in between it and behind. So yeah, that's for the first two. So yeah, second cylinder bolts, pretty easy as well. Just use the same extension, get over it and under it. Easy as that. Okay, so for the third cylinder, which is right over here, this third one, um, I had to use the ratcheting wrench for the top one and the bottom one could just use the normal extension. Um, yeah, just with this one, there's just this metal bracket blocking it, stopping you from using this. So yeah, you're gonna need the wrench for the top one and same business for the fourth cylinder. Um, wrench for the top hole and then you can use the extension with the, this ratchet for the bottom bolt. So yeah. I thought I would just show this bolt here on the fifth fifth cylinder. Uh, that top one's easy to get to, just use a normal extension. But for this bottom one, it's a bit fiddly. So what I've had to do is use like a swivel socket. As you can see, got a bit of an extension, long socket terminal. And yeah, you're able to basically, it's got to use a bit of force, but yeah, as you can see, you are able to spin it. So yeah, uh, swivel socket, yeah, really useful. So yeah, for this last cylinder, top one, top bolt, easy as, it's just that bottom bolt there, which is right in the corner. Um, very hard to see, but I've basically done the same thing, got on a swivel socket, just used like my hand to like try and tightly get it through and then yeah, you can, once you get a ratchet on it, top of the extension, you can just turn it, turn it, so, like that. So yeah, not too bad. And once I get this undone, uh, I'll undo all the other ones, as I just only just crack them, to see that I can actually crack all of them. And then, yeah, I'll undo them and the gasket should come out. And then we gotta come under the car and jack it up, obviously. And there's two bolts you can either air. You can. I've been doing this one over here, which is a lot easier um, for me personally. Just use the 10 millimeter wrench, and then that came up easy. I um, could do that one over there. A bit hard to see, but yeah, um, those are just a bit hard for me to get to. So I just went for this one up here, and yeah, that should be the last bolt, and the gasket should just slide out after that. So I've got on all of the bolts out now and once you've done that it should just be as simple as just pulling this away basically. So yeah, turns out I'm replacing this gasket basically for no reason. So basically you just pull up against here and the gasket basically just slides out. And yeah, um, the reason why I was replacing this because um, car was using just a bunch of fuel and basically this was replace everything and this was kind of like the last thing to replace in terms of gaskets but yeah seems on seems like this is fine so yeah it's actually quite unfortunate for me because i was hoping this was the issue yeah so what i've had to do i've just put in the gasket now loosely and just put in two bolts to hold it in but what i actually had to do was split the gasket basically so i don't know so yeah, I basically just split it in half because for me it was just too hard to just put in all at once. So split it in half, so I just put it on the first three cylinders on that side and the other half of the gasket in. And then yeah, just loosely put it in place with two bolts. And then yeah, now we just got to go get some thread locker, put them on each bolt because that's important, especially for bolts that go on, like, onto your engine. And yeah, bolt everything back up, reverse what we did, and that's that. So yeah, now I've got all the bolts basically just slightly in, slightly tied in with a bit of thread locker on all of them. So now that you've done that, all of these bolts need to be torqued down to 25 millimeters. I'll be doing that and I basically just put on the bolts the same way as I've said in the previous clips. Yeah. I've tied on all the bolts now. Well, I basically did just went from right to left and then directed myself to the middle. 
tighten them up and then went all along again and then tighten them up even more. Yeah, so I basically got the MAF sensor here, which is just plugged in from the connector and an 8mm bolt on the top half of the throttle body. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give it a good clean with the mass airflow sensor as dirty ones for these can cause like a bit of issues. So I'm just going to put it down there. I've already shaken this up a good amount, but yeah. And you basically just blow it in there. You can get into really all the parts of the electrical connector parts and yeah, just got a kind of it. Yeah, so basically same thing. You just line it up, line up the gasket. I put in two bolts there, one bolt there, holds it in. Easy as, um, definitely not as hard as the actual intake manifold here. But yeah, a lot easier. Now with these bolts here, I'm not putting any Loctite because I feel as though they don't really need them. As usually number one in the first place, these gaskets never really go bad. And number two, um, I think this side wouldn't experience as much heat, etc., as it would experience over here. So I don't, I don't feel as though Loctite is necessary, and it should be fine. And the torque rating for these bolts, but what I got from the web was 25 newton meters as well. So yeah, I'll basically just be nipping them all up, um, do them all tight slowly, and then yeah, go basically in and out, left to right, and then turn it up towards the center. But yeah, so cotton that on, and this is where I feel like I'll leave the video on um, rest of the soft throttle body and. All the cuts are it's pretty easy to put back on, just tying up all the piping on it. But yeah, um, my thoughts on the job is that it's actually not too bad. And from like what I heard on the internet, I thought this was going to be an absolute hell of a job. Honestly, it's really not too bad. It only took me six hours, but that's only because I was really just taking things slow and also have a shoulder injury. So that slowed me down a bit so I, I was literally just taking my time with it um could have probably done a lot quicker but yeah it's really not that bad i think what the problem comes from is that when people do this they don't take off this top half and if you don't take off this top half like getting to all these bolts here like it's gonna be very hard for you so yeah that would honestly be my biggest tip is to take this top half away but yeah other than that, um, it was fine, and just in case you don't have a swivel socket, the one that like bends, um, you can actually jack up the car and get to some of those bolts that I showed over there that needed a swivel socket, you can get to it from underneath the car, in case you don't have that. But yeah, that's that, and that's how you change over the intake manifold gasket.